In this lesson, we will set up a simple web application using Node.js and Express. To do so, first, we're going to create a directory and create some files. I'm going to create my directory and I'm going to name it my web RTC app. Then I'm going to navigate to the newly created folder and I'm going to create another folder inside called public. Inside the public folder, I'm going to create some other files, the index.html and also the main.js file. Also, I need a file in the root directory, so I will name it app.js. Now let's initialize this folder as a node project and we will add the express dependency. We do this by using the npm init command and we're also going to install the express dependency. Okay, so now let's populate the files. Let's start with the express server. I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code editor, but you can use the one you prefer. Okay, let's open the app.js file. In here, we need to require the express dependency. Then we need to declare the app variable which is the one that is going to be linked to the express uh, engine we're also going to need a variable called http we're going to use this in a future video but we, we're going to declare it now and we're going to bend this to the app we also need the port um, i'm going to set it through a environment variable so we can manipulate the port on which the application will be running but I will also going to add a fallback value which is going to be 3000 now we use the express framework to configure hosting static hosting for the public folder and finally we will set up the HTTP listener to listen on the port we've already defined and we're also going to show a friendly message that the app is running listening on the port okay that's it now we need to open the index.html file in the index.html file we're going to define a typical HTTP file with the header we're going to set the title let's call it webrtc training okay now let's define the body and we're going to set a name here also webrtc training and now we need uh, two dips one is going to be our login page we're going to call it select room here we need we will set up a label we're going to put type room name we're also going to set the input that in which the user is going to write the room name and we're going to put to name it room number and the type is going to be text we also need a button so the user can press and this is going to be called go room okay this is the login page and we're going to set another div this is going to be the consulting room where the call is going to take place this one is going to be hidden by default 
we're going to display it later using JavaScript. And in here, we're going to put two video elements. One is going to be the local video. It's important that we set the autoplay attribute to be able to see the stream uh, to, to be showing automatically. So, and we need, also need another video tag for the remote video. Also going to set the autoplay attribute. Okay. And finally, we need to add a script tag that is going to be pointing to our main.js file. And that's it. Now, uh, to end with this, with this video, we're going to set some values and variables into the app.js file. Oh, sorry, into the main.js file. Okay, what, what, what we're going to do here is that we're going to add reference to the elements that we have defined in the index.html. So this one is going to be the select room and I also going to add the values for the other elements. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to speed the video in here but be sure to also add these values to your project. Okay, so now we need to add some other variables to host some other values that we will use in future videos. So let's add those variables. These are going to be the room number. We will need to set it this as a global. We also need the local stream, the remote stream as well. Uh, we need our RTC peer connection object. And we're also going to use a helper fun a helper variable called is caller to define who is the one that is making the call. Another thing that we need to define is our ICE servers. If you recall, when we talk about the RTC peer connection topic, we said that we need to set the ICE servers when we create the RTC peer connection. So we're going to define them in here. The way to define them is through an object, which is called, which is formatted in this way. Here we're going to add an array of objects. This is going to contain the URLs. We're going to use this stun server provided by Mozilla. And we're also going to use the stun server provided by Google. Stun, this one is a little bit longer, lgoogle.com in the port 19302. Okay. And also, we're going to define the stream constraints um, this is going to be a constant too the stream constraints that will be applied to the video and audio streams in here I'm going to define audio as true and also video as true so now let's run a wrap Currently, we won't see that much, but let's take a look. Here we have the application. When you're ready, move to the next lesson.